So I have what I call my five rules to follow when defining a target market. Number one, that market must be clearly definable. In other words, you have to be able to put them in a box and figure out these are the characteristics, here's the demographic information, et cetera. We're gonna go through all of that information here in a moment. But the more focused that you get on describing your market, the easier it will be for finding them and ultimately selling to them. But they must be clearly definable. The second rule is that they must have a problem that you can solve. Well, that means that you have to go and look at your product or service if you've created it already and begin to think about that product or service. What problems does it solve? For whom does it solve those problems? How does it solve that problem, et cetera? So you've got to really make sure that there's going to be a matchup between the problem that someone has and the solution that you provide. But they must have a problem that you can help them solve. And here's the rule related to that or the, the phrase or statement related to that. So people only buy for one of two reasons. Number one, they buy because you solve their problem. Or number two, they buy because you make them feel good. And preferably both. But if you're not solving problems, you've got a really, really tough road ahead of you because people don't spend money because they need to. They spend money because they want to. They want an outcome or a solution. So they have to have a problem that you can help them solve. Number three, they must have money. In other words, the ability to pay for a solution and they must be willing to part with their money for that solution, which means that problem has to be big and painful enough for them. But they've got to have money. If you find a group of people with a problem and they're looking for a solution, but they don't have money or they're not willing to spend money to solve their problem, then you're going to go broke. You're going to go out of business. Number four, there must be enough of them to build a business around. So you have to think about what kind of business you want. And we're going to walk through that process earlier in the book um, about defining some goals and what it is that they really want out of their business, kind of going through a little process of goal setting. But when you're looking at your market, you really have to make sure that you've got a group of people that is big enough to facilitate the size of revenue or sales that you want. There have to be enough of them to build a company around. Now, there are several ways you can think of that. You can think of that locally. You can think of that regionally or nationally or even globally. So you can think of it in terms of geographic terms. Are there enough people that I can reach in this market, wherever I'm at, or if I'm reaching a global or national market, can I reach those people? And then there's another way that you can look at it is potential spinoffs. So for example, let's say that I had been really successful building a consulting firm for air conditioning contractors. Well, what are air conditioning contractors really at the end of the day? They are service businesses in the home services industry. So if you think about air conditioning is here, but if there's a broader industry of home services, well then what other categories of businesses fall within that home services industry? And is it possible that the product or service, the solution that I provide would be applicable to other people in those other categories of home services businesses? So would it also apply to plumbers and electricians and other businesses that go out and serve homeowners? Well, that's possible. So you can think of what I call spinoffs where you can grow laterally in your business by offering the same product or service maybe packaged in a different way or maybe messaged in a different way. But it goes back to this principle, this rule number four, which is you have to have a market, a group of people that are big enough to build a business around. And number five, that group of people must be accessible. In other words, you've got to be able to get to them. There are actually markets and some people, you know, watching or listening to this content or maybe reading the book later will experience this or have experienced this, that you go out and define a market and it actually is a real group of people. But whenever you start trying to figure out how you're going to advertise or market to them, it's super difficult and it requires a lot of manual labor of outreach or digging out who they are or going to certain types of events or whatever to be able to reach that particular market. They're not easily definable and therefore you run into those challenges. And 
It doesn't happen very often, but it can happen. So you need to make sure as you're defining and looking at this market and you're following these five rules that you found a group of people that you can actually get to. You are enjoying Pillars of Profit, an original series from J.P. Maroney. Get the complete series plus free bonus content at jpmaroney.com slash P.O.P.